Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical. I want to talk to you about the Ghost Reload. So a lot of you are probably wondering, hey, what is this Ghost Reload? The thing is what I've seen with my students, when we come out to the range, people have this range mentality. And what I'm trying to do via the Ghost Reload is break that range mentality. This is the place where we're training, where God forbid you ever have to defend yourself, I've built my skills here. The premise behind the Ghost Reload is this. Once I have shot all my mags, I let that last mag go. And a lot of times we get in that range mentality of, hey, you know what, I'm done, holster the gun and be done with it. What I want you to do or start adding to your training plan is once you've fired that last mag, still release that mag and then go through the motions of a mag change because what I want is that final trigger press to see are you actually anticipating your recoil, pushing down, whatever the case may be. It's one more practice for dry fire just to enhance your training and get us in the mindset, hey, the fight isn't over, I'm still in it and I'm always looking to train that one more little piece I can. So let me, got, let me give you guys a quick demo. So again, I've got my safe direction here. I get my pistol out, I'm gonna go ahead and put a mag in and I'm gonna lock the slide to the rear. So imagine if you would, hey, I'm out here shooting, I'm all out of ammo, that's fine. The premise being is once I'm done, I release the mag, I'm still making my sweep like I normally would. I know I'm out of mags, that's fine, I'm coming up, slide release, presenting back out, back on my target I'm engaging and I'm getting that good trigger squeeze. At that point, that to me is when the drill's done. I just want to sit there and change your mindset a little bit of, hey, I got it. You fired the last shot. There's nothing else there. This gives me one more repetition that I can practice. Go ahead, put on your eyes and ears. Let me give you a quick live fire demo. So again, I'm going to go through the same method to do the Warhog administrative load because again, it's a good practice and I'm ensuring that my firearm's loaded. So I'm here. I draw my pistol out. There's my safe direction. Check my, uh, my sights. They're good. Lock my slide to the rear, mag goes in, slide forward, and boom, I'm all set. So what you'll see is I know I've got no more rounds in my mag pouch, that, or no more mags in my mag pouch, that's fine. One round in the chamber, one round's gonna fire, and you're gonna see me go through the Warhog Ghost Reload. Present out, fire the last shot once it's done, sit there, get my reload, back on target, and I've got a good easy press. Then once I'm done, sit there, holster, and it just breaks that mentality of I've gone through that, I'm staying in the fight, and oh, by the way, it just gives me a check to make sure I'm not doing anything crazy with my trigger. Incorporate the Warhog Ghost Reload into your training, break out of that range kind of mentality and go, hey, this is the place where I'm training for the fight, which I hope you're never in, but if you are, you've got the skill and the ability to quickly finish that fight.